I want to do better with my students in general, but how do I address different abilities without making students feel uncomfortable? You don't want calling one out. Exactly. I want to make it comfortable for students to talk about their experiences and ask for any accommodations they need. Yeah, I think that's important. But you want to be careful how you address it. I had a professor with good intentions call me out in front of a lecture. I need a note taker. And when my professor asked for volunteers, he mentioned me by name. To take care of. Can someone take notes for Sam? Anyone want to volunteer? Kyle? I know he meant well. And I know he really wanted to help, but I felt like I lost my privacy, like my right of who and when I could share my information about my disability. I can speak to that too, but in a different sense. I had a professor one time who had a hard time understanding how to meet my accommodations. You see, I have an accommodation that allows Olive and me to sit in the front of the classroom, but she was worried that Olive would be too distracting for other students. So she wanted me to sit in the back. Excuse me, I'm going to ask you to go to the back of the class, please, with the dog. The dog could be distracting. And um... I tried it for a few classes, but it was really impacting my learning. Affect our specific capacity for communication, which is... So eventually, I talked with her and explained the situation in more detail. Once she realized that I needed these accommodations to be successful and have an equal learning opportunity, she was more than willing to help. She wasn't trying to be rude or invasive. She just wanted her classroom to run as smoothly as possible. She came around though, and I ended up doing really well in the course. Got it. So protect anonymity, don't push students for details, and be willing to adapt to my classroom space and assessments when necessary. How else as a professor can I support students who need accommodations? It's interesting for me because even though I have a disability, I've always had classes where I didn't need the accommodations. But a few semesters ago, I was really struggling in my class. I was having difficulties finishing the essay exam in the 50 minute class period and my professor noticed. He suggested I consult with learning strategies instruction within ODS to help me with my test taking strategies. Thank you. LSI was not something I'd have known about had that professor not recommended it to me, even though it's a resource that's available to all JMU students. How did your professor approach that conversation? He sent me an email and asked if I could meet during office hours. I knew he wanted to talk about the exam. I was really nervous, but he just kind of asked me about my exam experience and we went from there. He gave me the contact information for LSI and I had my first meeting later that week. So it was kind of like he introduced you to LSI and ODS at the same time. Definitely. He could tell I was trying my best, but I was still having difficulties. Yeah, needing specific combinations doesn't mean we can't learn. It just means we need certain strategies to help support our way of learning. And as a professor, my best course of action is to approach those cases with empathy, support, and privacy. I think I'm getting a grasp on this. <laughs> <laughs> we think you are too. And if you want more information, you could go to the office in person and talk to someone about the resources they have for professors. Mm -hmm. I'm a professor here. I was just wondering if I could get some more information on your sure. services. So any student wanting accommodations in our office just needs to fill out this application, lets us know who they are, what year they are, what accommodations they may want to receive, and then this release that lets us talk to their professors. Great. I have never been here. Is it possible to take a look at Sure, we can head this way.